Hi, I'm Shivani. Welcome to our series on climate change. In this program, we're looking at how students work in their schools to try and solve environmental problems. All these amazing videos were made by schools around the world for a competition held by the British Council. First of all, let's go to Indonesia, to a school where every student has a job to help fight climate change. Our school is School of Exploring. In Indonesia, it is known as Sekolah Alam Pacitan. It is located in Pacitan, East Java, Indonesia. In our school, there are many plants, flowers, and animals. Every morning, each student has responsibility to care about environment, like watering the plants, planting, cleaning the yard, plants offer fishing activities, feeding animals. Not all schools are as lucky as that one. Lots of schools are in city centers, surrounded by concrete. Like this one in India, or this one in Lebanon. The schools want to solve the problems of their environment. In Lebanon, they wrote a story about their unhappy school with pollution all around it. Hello dear friends, how do you feel? Today, I'm going to tell you a story called The Green Spell. Once upon a time, there was a school located in the suburban areas where green trees almost didn't exist. Look at me, look at me so dumb. All around me are streets full of vehicles, factories, and people who emit carbon dioxide and other toxic gases. The students work together to find a solution and make the school a happy and healthier place to be. They planted lots of flowers and plants around the school. Plants are very important to tackle climate change. Plants like me are very beneficial because we feed ourselves carbon dioxide to create energy in our own cells and to release oxygen. And this oxygen produced during photosynthesis is needed for you and all the living things, including me, to survive. I love this project. The school was happy again, full of lovely plants. But what else can we do? How about recycling? Lots of schools have ways to help reduce climate change by encouraging recycling. Single-use plastic is one of the biggest problems. So this school in the Philippines banned single-use water bottles. Now they have a tap and everyone can refill their bottles there. In Ukraine, students are encouraging each other to recycle as many things as possible. I think this is fantastic. How many things do you recycle in your school? What else could you recycle? In Indonesia, the students worked as a team to find a way to recycle water. Because of COVID, they all had to wash their hands often, and this was using a lot of water. But there was a problem. They were using strong soaps and detergents, so they needed to clean the water before they reused it. So they designed and made special filters with recycled water bottles. Isn't that brilliant? What kind of energy we use and how we use it is really important if we want to reduce climate change. Fossil fuels add to greenhouse gases, so we need to find alternatives. Many schools, like this one, are using renewable energy. The solar panel arrays on top of the junior school building, as well as the boys' hostel, facilitate the production of units and units of clean energy supplied to the school every single day. It's really amazing what all these students are doing to help reduce climate change. 
What else could you do with your class and in your school? Until next time, 